Hello and welcome to another episode from the Water's Edge. Now today we've got something a little bit different. We're actually down on the River Wensum today and we've been doing a little bit of chub fishing. But it's not the purpose of this video really. The purpose of this is just a little bit of a, a catch up with myself and Steve and just to sort of let you know what we've been up to because the summer's been quite a sort of busy period for us both, hasn't Very it? Very busy mate, yeah. Always. And um, you know, so you've had a lot of matches going on, a lot of your, your fisher manias. And yeah mate, that's like probably our slowest time for videos is, is this really because of my time tied up with fisher mania. I'm lucky enough to be in the British Cup final this year which is in a couple of weeks time so concentrating on that as as we need to but hopefully good times to come yeah, yeah hopefully um you know going forward it's, it's there's only the two of us who do it for a start a lot of people think there's you know we've got a team or a headquarters but there's only us two and it, you know we're trying to balance everything else it can be a bit of a yeah, job yeah. You know, both our, our free time or whatever has got to coincide for us to get out there. But we're going to, obviously, you know, we carry on making them when we can and we try and upload as, as sort of regular as we can. But today, really, is just sort of to talk you through a few sessions we've had, a few times we've had the camera out and sort of, well, I guess things where they haven't really gone to plan. You know, sometimes we go and, you know, the weather might be off or, you know, the fish aren't feeding or, you know. You don't catch anything. Do, yeah. <laughs> so th this is what we were, uh, we're going to show you little bit of footage so I think we'll probably start off we headed up to Lincolnshire didn't we the smooth and fishing yes, yeah mate, and very good. yeah we, we we went up there and everything looked absolutely spot on we had a good friend Dan with us didn't we trying to catch his first yeah, smooth he's, yeah. he's he's never had one and uh yeah we went up there and it was just we fished hard all day good bit of the tide and unfortunately it was a bit of a uh, washout really weren't it well, I think I think you led me a bit astray with that one to be honest because that was a a near promise <laughs> of catching it was and, um, but yeah, that was. Uh, I mean, it went. I mean, I had a little, a little pup which saved a blank. But um, yeah, other than that, it's very, very slow. Yeah. I th and I think on the day, it's one of them things. You know, we came back and I think literally got in the door, flicking through Facebook, and on there, <laughs> there was fish pictures, loads and loads and loads of fish, literally a mile, a mile yeah, down the road. You could almost sort of see the rods, didn't yeah. you? But we just it was just, wrong just place, on wrong time. Yeah, I mean, on that day. You know, the, the fish just weren't there and obviously we couldn't catch them, you know. We're saying mile down the road and they bagged up. But, you know, that's the way it goes, yeah, really. Yeah, absolutely. That's the way it goes. I guess another one, which was, well, I must be getting on a couple of months back now. We had a short session after work down at Barbara, which is a syndicate we joined. And, um, yeah, that was for, a, uh, well, we went down there with hopefully trying to catch a few tench. A bit but of tench fishing on the slider float, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, um, you know, that was one of them. Putting a load of bait to start with, didn't we? Hoping the fish were going to come grub around on it and, you know, we'd catch a few. Yeah. But that didn't really go to plan, did it? All things looked good, didn't they? The swim started yeah. bubbling, but for some reason or not, we managed one. We managed one nice tench, which was... Well, about caught six on pounds, about or six something, pounds something yeah, and like on that. the slider float, it's probably if I had to pick a way of fishing, that would be the way my favourite way of fishing. But yeah, again, it was just one of them ones that just didn't quite come together. Did it? One bite fairly early on, and that seemed to be the end and of it. it yeah, really. and it, you know, and then we sort of hoping, you know, can yeah. we get a video out of it? You know, we want another one or two fish to show you, um, you know, because I know that's the main reason we do it really to show you, obviously, you know, give you a few hints and tips on how to catch, but also at the end of the day. You want to see some fish as yeah, well, a bit so boring looking at us yeah. <laughs> that's it. But I guess then after that, we then I'm trying to think. I think I had a, a session up North Norfolk. I took some lures out, which is something I don't do a lot of at all, if I'm honest with you. But I borrowed some uh, some lures and a little bit of kit off one of my good friends, and I believe it or not, I actually took the misses up there. And it was a, again, it was an absolutely beautiful evening. Sea was flat, calm, big old sunset. And I think she um, she really enjoyed it. I mean, the, the fishing was absolutely pants. There must have been about a million people up there mackerel fishing. But um, yeah, I'm not. I, I wasn't too fussed about that. So just tried some of the uh, Yozuri sort of mackerel pattern lures and stuff. But um, yeah, again, it's one of them things that you know it it, di it didn't happen. You know, it's the wrong. You know, probably the right place, but just at the wrong time, to be honest with you. But I think she enjoyed it. Got her casting the rod on that a few times and. Yeah, she enjoyed it. So that's, that was sort of, you had a busy day at work, you can't beat it sometimes, especially in the summer, you know, it's, it's just it's just nice to get out there and give it a go, but. Yeah, interesting. We had um, another session while we were on it as well. We went down to Crown Neverall Lakes, which is one of Anglin Direct's lake. And we were doing a bit of filming for those uh, all day. We had some nice yeah. fish off the surface, but. Absolutely bacon hot. So hot, it? yeah, Absolutely really hot. Bacon. But we eventually, um, Got that done, we unwound and we got the rods out for the evening for a bit of nighttime fishing. 
and I think a bit of sunstroke hit Chris. He's ordered the biggest pizzas <laughs> in the world. Uh, so we're sitting there tucking into them, and the rod's actually gone off mid mid meal, should we say? Literally, and, um, as soon as the pizza the came up, I had a bite. <laughs> the, the middle rod or right hand rod or whatever it was has gone away, and it, great fit. It's yeah, been an absolute. It was a stunning what mid probably mid twenty common, yeah. real nice dark fish. But uh, well, yeah, we went to went to bed pretty happy, yeah, pretty stuffed. Yeah, it was and, uh, a good day. It was a very good day. good day that one. We had a um a session recently, which the the video is actually online now. It's been uploaded where we took. Dan out again, following on from the beach fishing, finally. where we <laughs> failed, he finally caught his fish. We went out back again on board Phil White's boat, the Chinook Free, down in Bradwell, and that was, uh, again, a thoroughly enjoyable day, very weren't it? You know, plenty of action. It always is, getting down with Phil, and, you know, it's always good to see him and catch up with him on camera and, you know, see how everything's been going for him, but... Yeah, I mean, so that's that's probably a recap of, you know, probably the last two, three probably months, three I months, guess. I would say, yeah. You know, as we said, it's a, the summer's a busy time, and when you're working full-time, you know, you obviously got families and stuff as well, and, you know, we've both got missus as who we've got to keep happy. It's uh, It can be a job to get out there, but hopefully now as we head into the autumn and then certainly into the winter, yeah, we get a bit to, more free time. and tends to get better for us, definitely, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. So, I mean, just a little recap and a little bit of footage to show you rather than, you know, just wasting it or whatever. Yeah, at least we're out trying. We get a lot of people, don't we, say, when's your next video going? Yeah, that's it. And uh, sometimes we have been out, but it, it doesn't always go yeah. planned, so... At least yeah. we can share that footage you've now of the the brief sort of highlights of the days that yeah, didn't quite that's make it. it I that's guess. it, and um, it's probably a good point to say as well. If you know, we love answering your questions and hearing from you right there. So you know, if you, if there's any ideas of videos that you'd like us to have a go at, or sp yep. species you'd like to see us catch, or different any any ideas, any questions, then you know we're always on the end of the Facebook Messenger or or by email, or you know drop a comment on this video or whatever. Obviously, don't forget to um. You know, if you don't already, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We'll put, I'll put all the details in the video or at the end. And of course, if you know, if you don't already subscribe, then uh, hit the yeah. red button and subscribe you know, and join us and keep up to date with uh, what we've got going on. Because yeah, the next few certainly. months, we have got a few exciting things in the pipeline. Yeah, some stuff so, that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. So not only uh, beating you in that seat match, but <laughs> a couple of other real good things that we've got coming. So yeah, keep following. We have got some more to come. Yeah, so it's just we'll uh, sign off now by the time we get home. So as always, thanks for watching, be lucky, and we'll see you again on the next one. <laughs>